y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be another entrepreneur vlog studio vlog small business vlog whatever you want to call it we are back at it again so i did want to show you guys some of the new like shipping supply and stuff that I got in and new inventory that I got in. If you're new here, hey, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So let's just get into it, okay? Let's just get into it while we're already here. Let's make sure my camera settings are good. All right, so the hair that I have in obviously is my brand, AJB Beauty Collection. I am wearing a 20 inch 5x5 closure it is in transparent i did opt to do a side part this time because baby girl i ain't had a side part i don't know how long and yeah this is it i think i may be giving bust down middle parts a little rest and i'm about to go with the side part girlies okay but i am wearing 20 22 and 24 inches in my raw vietnamese hair um this is bed hair, so I literally just woke up and started <laughs> vlogging this. After I got my hair done, I took a nap for like three, almost four hours. So I didn't define my curls, but I'll do that tomorrow probably. Ah, get out. I'll do that tomorrow probably, but literally the hair is so freaking beautiful. It is so full, and we'll get into all that in a second. But I wanted to show you guys this. I already showed TikTok. If you don't follow my business page on TikTok, go follow. It is at AJB Beauty Collection. This is how it looks. Okay, I just have to turn off tracking because I don't know what that was about. But this is AJB Beauty Collection. Why is it not focusing? Can y'all see that? Anyways, that's that. So I got 1,772 likes on the building right, so business credit with Uline. So that did really good. So I decided to come on here and kind of talk about it. Um, Uline is one of the five accounts that I do recommend in helping you to build your business credit. Um, you can get all kinds of stuff from Uline. Literally, they send me a catalog. Mm. They got like household items. People buy stuff for their house to just accumulate and start building a business credit. I obviously got shipping supplies from there a lot of people use uline the more i'm watching these vlogs the more that i see a lot of girls actually you know know about uline and actually utilize it so it is helping you build your business credit i checked the business credit on i think experian and i check it on another one is it maybe nav or something nave something like that so yeah i'm going to get into what i got from uline first this is a thermal um like shipping label printer um from amazon it's the rollo brand my friend josh actually let me borrow this for like three months he said so shout out to josh thank you for letting me borrow this um after about three months i'm gonna get back to him and then i'm gonna like buy my own but he let me use this borrow it so thanks um next he also gave me these this is a how many are these these are from amazon if i can find them i'll link them it's 200 pieces of 10 by 13 black mailers, not bubble mailers, just regular mailers. Um, these definitely fit the bundles inside the bag. So this is how big it is. I've already tried to fit the satin bag and everything in here and it fits perfectly. So super excited to use these. Y'all know my colors are um, nude of browns and stuff. And then like my packaging and stuff is gonna be, excuse me, black. So this definitely fits on brand. The next thing that I have <coughs> is, oh, these are the um, thermal labels. It's four by six and it comes with 500 in a pack. So I may try to set this up tonight if it's not too complicated or we may do this tomorrow. Um, I do want to kind of print out my first shipping label from Shopify because it allows you to print out a shipping label. I'm trying to make sure I'm focused like why does it look like i'm not in focus there we go i don't know if i need to put on auto tracking or what honey or maybe because i ain't got my glasses on i can't see that i'm actually focused okay anyways <laughs> the next thing that i got is so since my order total was over a hundred dollars they gave me a free calendar obviously since i got dogs i opted out to get the ones that got dogs on it so is dog got it or dog gone it 
so cute and then the bag just shows you the different pictures that they have on there getting into actually what i ordered is these boxes so these are i want to say eight by eight by something but i did print out stickers from amazon to actually put a sticker on the box it said those are going to be here between february 2nd through the 8th um it's just a small business person on amazon that literally prints out stickers for people companies so i'm going to stick a sticker on here y'all items are going to go in a satin bag satin bag is going to go inside the box i think this is the perfect size for like a standard order about of bundles like if you get three bundles and a closure or three bundles and a frontal it'll definitely fit in the satin bags and it'll definitely fit in here perfectly so excited about that um i did get a 25 count so it comes with 25 one is messed up can't use this one on the back as you can see right here my lovely dog oreo decided to chew up my box so got a 25 pack of that i'm going to be customizing putting my own stickers and stuff on it once i do like a maybe like one or two more relaunches or something of like a restock once i do two more restocks i'm going to try to get boxes with like my face on them from the photo shoot so but we're gonna wait on that for now so uh, the next things that i got came in these boxes i don't know where i'm about to put this stuff so this one is 10 pounds of crinkle paper. I don't know why my camera just freaking cut off on me. They better not mess up my camera because I sent it to Best Buy to get it fixed. And they fixed my, hey! They fixed my lens. Anyways, it cut off on me when I was saying, the next thing I got from Uline is 10 pounds of crinkle paper. I got it in brown because obviously these are my brand colors. So this fits the aesthetics and the brand perfectly. When it said 10 pounds of crinkle paper, I didn't really, I didn't really understand how much 10 pounds of crinkle paper would be. So I don't know what I'm about to do with this. I don't know if I'm gonna put it like in a, like a plastic bag or like, I don't know how I'm gonna store this because keeping it in this box, this box is too big to be in my little bitty one bedroom apartment. So we're gonna figure that out in this vlog where I can like store this if I gotta put it in two different baggies, stuff it in, you know, one of my, cubbies or something i don't know but i have 10 pounds of crinkle paper super excited i feel like this is just gonna kick up my packaging up a notch so super excited about this the last thing that i got from uline are actually more poly mailers so i originally obviously didn't know that josh was going to give me these but these are just regular poly mailers these are actually <coughs> bubble mailers so i like that it has that extra type of protection in the inside for you guys yes i know this is huge like compared to my head this is huge um probably when i order again i'm gonna order a size under this so this one is 14 and a half by 20 um i'll probably get one under this because this actually is a really good size it is big but i feel like it's a really good size so i got a 50 pack and i did demonstrate already <sighs> keep looking to make sure my camera on because i don't know what it's doing baby okay so i did demonstrate already that it fits so this is the box that i showed you guys earlier um the bundles will fit in here put this in the bag and then yes it's huge but depending on how much y'all order this may come in handy and then i'll just simply fold this over take off the plastic seal and then put this on like that ship y'all package out put the fragile label on and yeah then we'll be good all right next thing i got hold on <laughs> All right, so the other few things that I wanted to show y'all are these. Um, I showed these in my last like Amazon haul or whatever for the business. These are just S-shaped hooks. This is what I, hello. This is what I use to hang the bundles. Basically, a lot of people just call them, uh, what is it? Like shower curtain hooks, basically is what it is. It's just a fancier version of them. So I get them from Amazon in a pack of 20. They're like five or $6.99. The other thing I wanted to show y'all is this digital scale so I can weigh y'all's packages. I'm gonna open this up real quick and do a little unboxing.
they had called me. Um, it looks like it got a whole LCD display on off. I can open it in the scale platform. So press that the power on the LCD display will show when the scale is stable. So ounces, pounds, <clears throat> grams, kilograms. So remove this before we pull out, pull out. All right, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna hook this up after I set everything up and see where I wanna place everything, but it seems pretty self-explanatory, obviously. I'm just gonna throw this back in the car. Okay, so in case you didn't see my little like setup for my business stuff, like you didn't watch the other vlogs, this is, don't mind this, I ain't bought another curtain. You know, we, 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 we got curtains. I just gotta buy another one. But this is basically like my office, I guess you can say. So for this printer, I don't know where I wanna put this because all of this stuff stays on here. And I don't really wanna, like I could put the little thermal printer right here. Um, so I don't know, but I do have this like, just space that's not being used right here. So I was thinking maybe I can find some slim little like stand desk something and then I can house this stuff up there. I do have this. Okay, this is where the rest of my stuff is at. So this is where I keep my lace melt bands. This is stuff for the lashes. This one is my satin bags. This is where I keep, you know, this is just all the stuff. So these are the lashes that I got to separate and label and stuff. So I was thinking to put this over here, but it's so tall. And I already put up my like high school diploma and like everything. All of that is already up on the wall. And I feel like it's going to come up higher than that. I think so. Yeah, I think that's going to come up higher. Because, I mean, I could take this one down and, like, put this on this side. Because there ain't no way I can reach all the way up there. So, I, I think I may do that just to have everything out. And just keep this as, like, a storage closet that's not, like, for the business. The rest of the stuff is in my actual closet. Hello. So, we have the hair. I have inches 16 all the way up to 30. This one is my bubble mailers. I already have bubble mailers, but I don't know if my boxes are going to fit in these. So these may just be mailed out with the satin bags to like get rid of those. This one has nothing to do with the business stuff. So that's what I'm about to try to clear out to have this whole section be for the business because this is like my little like toolbox. And then this one is just random junk basically so i'm about to try to clear these out and then stuff all of the business stuff up on here this needs to move got my label maker that my best friend got me this is what i'm gonna use to label um my lashes and stuff I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue. Big you just want to send me automatic with a drum. Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, that's just begun. Nah, I ain't giving out no nothing. So, this is actually a perfect freaking fit. Like, look at that. Look, that, that ain't nobody but God. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Let me try to turn this one off. There we go. Perfect fit. Literally top and bottom, side to side, perfect. So, okay. I'm going to keep this here and then I'm going to put my printer on top of this. I'm about to wipe all of this down though because that's a little dusty up there. So, I'm going to put that right here and then I'm going to have... Okay. So these are my plugins. I have two down here and two up here with some USB ports. And then I can also plug in something on my actual little light, as you can see. So that always comes in handy too. Um, 
I do have a lot of stuff already plugged up over here. So I need to see if I got an extension cord or if I have another one of these little thingies because I do need that. Okay, that worked out perfectly. What I'm thinking is I can probably put some of that crinkle paper up in one of these. Um, I don't know, either I'm gonna put the crinkle paper in one of these or I may just keep it in one of these cubbies or two of these cubbies cause I got so much. So I'm gonna empty out these little things right here. And then I'm probably gonna use, since this is like my shipping station, I'm gonna keep the crinkle paper over here. So I'm gonna empty out like two of these and just throw all of the crinkle paper in two of these. Hopefully it fits majority of it. Um, if I have to use three of these, then I'll use three of these. But we're gonna start doing that. I already have one that's free. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess basically start on that. These are like bathing suits, so I can get rid of these and put this in my storage in my bed so I'm about to put all the crinkle paper in two of these So I have 50 of these. Don't know where I'm gonna put them. <laughs> um, these are like really too big for this. Even if I fold it, it's still not gonna work. So what I'm thinking, let's get that out of here. Let's get that out of here. Um, okay, so I would put it on the bottom of my rack right here, but I usually move this rack in and out of here to like get shots and um, get like camera shots of it. And I also move it out to let the hair dry like out there after I um, wash it. So it's like, if I put this right here, I'm gonna keep moving it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Or I could, um, Maybe put these above my closet, like above this station. Like this is what I'm looking at. Basically where those few shoes are at, I can um, put those slides and stuff over here where these shoes are, the empty spots. And then I can just move those tennis shoes um, to another side of my closet because I still have a lot of space like up there. And then I can even move the heels down here where the other ones are. And then all of this stuff is gonna be like going to the trash and stuff and play those closets tomorrow. You'll see that in my like Sunday reset vlog. So I can really put these big mailers up there and kind of just stack them. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Like this whole section right here is just gonna be shipping supply. Audible is the best place to listen for everyone. For story people, comedy people.
public, you don't know me, keep it sweet. In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet. You know, I'm the I'm the lowest of the lowest. And see if you can keep it, and nobody knows. I need to get the fuck on my space. The placement's on the way with the red. That pussy's feeling like a great escape. So it's 10.59 in the morning. Um, I'm about to go do some pickup orders. I'm actually packaging the order right now. Um, it did snow and everything, but I think the roads are pretty clear. I, guess I got my car heating up right now. I'm meeting her at 11.30. And then I'm gonna take two more orders to my cousin for her and her best friend because they ordered some. So the girl that just ordered last night that I'm about to give today, she ordered 26 inches in the natural wavy so i already packaged two so now i'm about to package the other one the last one so since these bags are only like 22 inches long i do kind of curl up the bottom of the hair not really curl it up just kind of tuck it in there so it can fit perfectly close it up it has holes in it so i put all the air out she got 26 inches so i don't really have to write it on the outside because they're all 26 inches but for the people who don't get all the same lengths i write it up here so they can know which one they're grabbing because i want my logo to show on the outside rather than flipping it over so you can see what it is so she got 26 inches they're all the same i'll still write it on here though and for pickup orders i'm just going to do the baggies um, for online orders you will actually receive it in a box for right now now once I expand and you know continue to get bigger and bigger and my business continue to do well then I will have a box for everybody but for right now we're just going to do the baggies and then I always fold the bundles in half let all the air out so they can fit in seamlessly and then these bags if y'all remember y'all watch my other ones i'm going to need a be quiet if you watch my other entrepreneur vlogs then you know that i'm going to order bigger bags but for right now i'm going to use these my measurements, they fit in here. It's just my measurements. Um, I want the bags to be a little bit bigger. And my business cards, I can't put it in yet because I'm still waiting on my graphic designer to finish my business cards and my website. So, kind of sad that I can't add that in because that's a big statement piece. So, by the time y'all order though, because I'm gonna do like a pre-sale, I should have them and like everything else that I'm needing. And there we go. Three bundles of 26 inches. HB Beauty Collection. Thank you so much for your support if you watch this, girl. Okay. So it's 11.02. I'm about to go heat my car up because I literally have icicles coming from my car. So I'm about to put on some pants. And then I'm, I'm about to get dressed real quick. Alright, so I just put on some jeans. I'm wearing my... Arkansas Razorbacks hog shirt. Don't really care for the hogs, but whatever. Um, I got all three baggies. So this is the girl I'm about to meet at 
these two. This one is my cousin's, Dinah, and then this is her best friend, Shira. So I'm about to go meet up with her. Well, mine ain't too bad. At least it's not like how it was the other day. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, mine ain't too bad since I went to work and came home yesterday morning. But for y'all people that ain't moved nowhere, then it's bad. All right, so hey y'all. I just got back to the house. I'm about to um, eat my Chick-fil-A and then go meet up with Janae and her sister to go get lashes done. I just did my first ever like pickup, so shout out to Amber. If you're watching this, thank you, girl, for supporting. I got two more to drop off. Um, I just texted my cousin to see where she is because they're going to her. And yeah, so I had to come back home to get my wallet. I left my wallet, and I also gotta take the dogs out real quick. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm about to eat first, then take the dogs out, and then I'm gonna head out to Southwest if you're local. I'm about to go out there and get my lashes done. And I'll probably come back. And since this is like my entrepreneur vlog, basically, I'm probably gonna come back and try to figure out how to do, um, I get my website this weekend, Saturday. So I'm gonna figure out um, how to like ship out the labels and stuff like that. So Shopify allows you to do like a mock-up order basically so i'm gonna do that when i get back and like try to figure all that out so hopefully i can have the website up and running if everything goes good saturday i'll probably open it up sunday or maybe monday maybe like sunday at midnight so that'll give me like all day sunday to like you know get stuff together and then i open it midnight which would be monday morning and then keep it open for maybe like that entire week because it was just payday and then it's gonna be pre-order only starting off and then we'll get into the swing of things. <laughs> 